Forgiveness means you keep no account. Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 to 22. Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times. Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. You know, G Peter was uh, trying to understand forgiveness. And so one day he comes to Jesus and he wants to clarify something. You know, Lord, I need a, I'm, I'm busy keeping count of what each one of my friends are doing. And uh, it seems to be getting a little tedious uh, to keep count, to keep track of the number of times they have uh, wronged me. And so I just want to make sure how long should this list be? You know, is seven okay? And Jesus' response to Peter is, Peter, I'm not telling you seven. I'm saying 70 times seven. Now, it's not about the math that Jesus is emphasizing. In fact, it's not about the math. The point Jesus wants to get across is that we forgive just the way we are forgiven. And in that incident, Jesus goes on to narrate something in Matthew 18 and this is 20 verses 21 to 35. He, he tells a story of a, 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 a lord or a manager who had a servant who owed him, you know, a thousand uh, denarii, a thousand uh, rupees or value of money. And the servant was finding it very difficult to pay back. And so the Lord forgives him. He cancels his debt. But now this same person, the same servant who was forgiven, he had somebody working for him who hold, owed him much lesser amount in money. So like a hundred uh, rupees or a hundred uh, denarii in um, amount. But when he goes home and he, he deals very severely, very harshly with his servant who owed him much less. And so when the Lord hears about how his servant has been treating his servant, then he calls him and says, you know what? I forgave you 1,000 denarii, and you were not able to forgive your servant who owed you just 100. And so he rebukes him and he tells him now, send him out to the tormentors. And then Jesus emphasizes this important truth that when we, have, we need to extend forgiveness, in the same manner and at the same extent to which we have received forgiveness. You know, one important part of forgiveness is this, that we do not keep an account of what of the wrong people have done to us. You know, Peter tried to figure that out and Jesus' response was, you don't keep any account. You simply forgive the same way you are forgiven. So when you think about it, think about how much God forgives us how continually he forgives us. He does not say, you know, I've run out of the amount, I run out of credit for you, sorry, you know, no more forgiveness for you. There's never a day that God speaks to us in that manner, never. So the point he is getting across to us is, look, if God has so forgiven us, then we need to also forgive those who have wronged us. Of course, there's good offenses will come. People will wrong us in small things, and big things. What must we do? Keep our hearts clean. Forgive instantly. Don't keep an account. Don't say, I'll write it down and I'll one week later, I'll forgive. That's not the way we do it. The moment you're offended, that moment you release forgiveness with the help of God. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will give us the grace to forgive even as we have been forgiven. To forgive instantly to keep no account of the wrong done against us. Give us that grace, because you've been so gracious to us to forgive us. Help us to be gracious to every person who may wrong us intentionally or unintentionally. Help us to be quick to forgive without keeping any account of the wrong done to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.